Good morning everybody, welcome back to Craig's Cabin. Today we're going to be exploring Gilsman's Wood, which is separated in part by Gilsman's Hill and St Leonard East Sussex. Let's jump into the video. So, Gilsman's Wood is another one of these woodlands that I have never been to, that I've managed to find on the Google Maps, and is actually close to where we were in the last video, sorry about the angle, let's sort that out for you, there we go, just close to the woods we was in the last video, Pond's Wood, which I'm not quite sure why it's called Pond's Wood, because I couldn't find a pond, I found the stream, but hey, that's how it is and this is all part of the Hollington Park apparently according to Google now this is probably one I can't take any participants to due to it being a bit I'll show you here's where we are I've got to walk down here <laughs> so we'll see It's going to be fun to try and get back up that. But if I walk sideways, I should be fine. And we've got our old friend Ivy all everywhere. And the old prehistoric ferns. Up there. Let's take you up just so you can see how close we are to the road. There's um, King Alfred cakes. Let's go round. Oh, this has been dug up by wild animals. It's great they're finding places to make their homes. Whoa. The ground is rather soft here as well. Follow this fallen tree. And up. How close you we can see, but these are the houses that run onto a road attached to Gilsman's Hill, which is in St. Leonard's near Hollington, near to Bex Hill on Sea. And the, the main road between Hastings and Bex Hill. The A259 connects this <coughs> Looks like somebody's been practicing with a chainsaw in here And as you can see just through the trees there We'll zoom in a little bit is more houses it's all part of the Hollington Park area now there was something that I wanted to try and find it's apparently there's an old 
um, like rest stop for travellers with their horses. And I think I've seen it when I've driven past. It's set off the road a bit, but I think that's on the other part of Gilson's Woods. So I'm right by somebody's house, so I can't exactly point the camera that way. And I'm thinking that's down in their garden. So I can't go that way. So I have to go back through this way. Watch my step. Yeah, that looks like their garden. And there's houses there. So this is literally just a little tiny bit of woodland. And if it wasn't for the housing, I would probably, in fact, I'm going to try to walk down to where the road is and try and show you where this old stopping point for travellers with horses was. That's if I can get there. So safety first, holding on, making sure I don't fall. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely somebody's garden, it looks like it's collapsed. Let's try not to fall down any holes. Let's keep the camera pointed low. And it looks like it's all people's gardens. Keep the camera low <coughs> so we're not invading people's privacy. And there is no way through that is all people's gardens. Or is it? I can see a road. So let's get this bramble off my leg. And this bramble off my leg, which I think I'm actually stood on. There we go. There we go. Right. I can't actually get through because this is people's gardens. So I'm going to have to rethink this idea and head back. Oh, something beeping. What's beeping? Well, so oh, drooping sedge in my face. So I can't get any further without it going to people's gardens, and I don't want to do that. So we're going to head back up best I can, it's as safe as I can, without falling, there we go, there we go. Clicks out the way, that's it, keeping the camera low, there we go, so, oh, there's bricks there, we're going to head back up, To near where we started. It's a shame that the old walking route, travelling route, has been cut off and housing stakes have been put there. I understand people need places to live, but there's also something to be said for protecting our green spaces and preserving history. What I might do, in fact, is head back to the car, drive round to the next part, Oh, 
yeah, drive around to the next part to see if I can find the rest stop and drinking trough. Which apparently used to hold a, a pewter um, set of cups so that both human and horse alike could drink and rest. Now, trust me to come down a way that I'm going to have to climb. Oh. Before we walked up onto that hill where the, the sun's beaming off of. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I've got a little bit of time before my next errand, appointment, etc. I'm going to drive around to see if I can find the, the rest in place. And take you guys with me now I haven't got the attachment in my car to have my camera at the moment so we have to stop the video when we get back towards the car and pick the video back up again when we get to where we're going okay now this is going to be the interesting bit step there step there it there. There we go. Now, oh, let's cut through. One, two. Here we go. Right, I'm going to end the video here and pick it back up when we get to where we're going. Right, guys, we've arrived. <laughs> did take a little bit of finding and although this video is titled come with us to Gilsman's Wood the little bit of driving around I did I actually found out it's still part of Pondswood Nature Reserve so technically still Ponswood but on every map it has said Gilsman's Wood so I am sticking by the title of this video <coughs> and it is Gilsman's Wood is that as it, how it is found waiting for the crossing because where all these houses are now was all once part of Gilsman's Wood or Pondswood Nature Reserve Hollington Park how long did it take for these signals to change 
Ah, there we go. Waiting for the signal to change. Right, here we are. And this is the Gilsman's Spring. Just turn the camera around for you. Let's fucking zoom out a little bit. Go. You got a date up there. Now the date says 1373. And it used to be benches or somewhere for you to sit. And there also used to be tethers for your horse. So you could tether your horse and you could sit. And there used to be a pewter cup that sat in the walls here and here. And you used to be able to stop here on your journey, get the pewter cup, have a drink, because this used to flow out of the mouth there. And your horse could drink from there your animals could drink from there you could get a drink from there and you could just sit and enjoy so this is the Gilsman's spring that I was telling you the rest stop and it is made from sandstone in 1373 so there we are guys little bit of history for you to finish this video I'm not correcting the name of the video because it still says on Google Maps Gilsman's Wood and it will give you direction to Gilsman's Wood and put you right by the entrance so that is Gilsman's Wood also part of Ponds Wood also part of Hollington Park Hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe comment below share the channel follow us on all of our social medias have a lovely day and i'll see you later take care